She lost her son. He was one of six Bay Area officers killed in the line of duty in just the past two years. This mom, though, is turning her grief into action in hopes of saving a life, and she's doing it by educating our children. I lost my son in June of last year. Sandy Kocab can finally utter those words without crying. He was taken down by a bad guy. A bad guy with a gun. She is sharing the story of her son, Tampa police officer Jeff Kocab, with the youngest of audiences, elementary students. Her message is simple but powerful. We need to respect them. That's what it's all about. Respecting our officers. Her son was shot and killed during a traffic stop gone horribly wrong. Tampa police officer David Curtis was also killed on that tragic night. I, I don't want to go back on, on the loss of my son or his zone partner. I want to move forward. That's what God's telling me to do is move forward. Um, so we're bringing about the positive there. Sandy hopes by reaching out to the most impressionable, it can save a life. I think that's where it's going to start with young children. These Lakeland officers and Polk County deputies agree. It's why they invited Sandy to come and speak to the students at Cleveland Court Elementary in Lakeland. Everything begins with, with our children, whether it be good or bad. She doesn't want us to wait until we put the black tape on our badge for us to appreciate what law enforcement does every day. She wants, uh, she wants that to be a constant mindset. She wants us to always remember what these police officers and, and deputies do every day and every night. So Sandy and the agencies join forces, helping these children understand what police officers and deputies do, what they are risking. Don't you think I want to go home and see my kids again? Wouldn't you guys like to see your parents again? These things help us. It can save our lives because sometimes people will shoot us. The children reacted. With their actions, they showed Sandy they cared. Can we just clap for them, please? And then these youngsters went one step further. They showed her they understood. I love hugs. I've had hugs in so long. The touching gesture by the children brought tears, but this time there was some happiness mixed in. Sandy feels her Jeff is smiling. Somebody told me that he's sitting on my shoulder as an angel telling me, go mom, I'm proud of you. And this is just the first school that Sandy hopes to visit, and it's not her only commitment. Sandy has also established the Tears Foundation to help the parents and siblings of loved ones. She's pleading for your help with an upcoming fundraiser. For more information, you can just head to our website at ABC Action News.